Hey everybody, Geek Out Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Time Machine on a Mac computer. Now, if you already know what Time Machine is for, what it's all about, and you just need to go directly to the instructions on how to set it up, go ahead and click the link right here. So, when I was in college, a professor of mine once told me that there are two types of people. There are the people who back up their computers, and there are the people who are yet to back up their computers. Basically, what he was trying to say is that most people will ignore the possibility of a hard drive failure, accidentally deleting files that you didn't want to, and losing files that you've spent countless hours of work on, possibly losing files that are very sentimental, like family videos and photos. And once those people go through the process of actually losing that stuff, they're going to turn into people that will then back up their computers like they should. So hopefully you guys will avoid that and start using Time Machine right off the bat. So what is Time Machine? Time Machine is a program that backs up everything on your computer to an external hard drive. It backs up all your files, including all the operating system files. This is nice because it allows you to recover from, say, a complete hard drive failure. And some of the other features with it is that it allows you to go back in time and bring forward files that you may have accidentally deleted in the past. But that's a separate issue, and I'm going to cover that in a different video. So you might be wondering, how much does Time Machine cost? Well, that's the nice thing about it, is that it's absolutely free. As long as you have one of the operating systems, Leopard, Snow Leopard, Lion, or Mountain Lion, it's a part of the operating system, and you can use it for free. And considering that it's free, you really can't afford not to use it, especially if you have important stuff on your computer system. It's just a fact of life that hardware fails, so it's best to be prepared. All you need is an external hard drive. I would recommend getting an external hard drive that has at least the same capacity as the hard drive that's currently in your computer, preferably I would go double, depending on how much data you have saved on your computer. All right, so let's get started setting up Time Machine. There are two ways to get to Time Machine Preferences. You can go up here to the Apple icon and System Preferences, or if you have System Preferences down here on your dock, you can go there and then go to Time Machine, and here we are with the Time Machine Preferences. Now, one important thing down here is this selection, Show Time Machine in the menu bar. I personally like to keep that selected. And what that gives you is up here in the menu bar, you get a little Time Machine icon, and this allows you quick access at all times to the Time Machine. It allows you to open up the Time Machine preferences, and also it'll allow you to back up right away instead of waiting for a scheduled time to back up. All right. Now, one thing you want to do when first getting going is kind of select Time Machine, turn it off if it's already on. You want to get things set up before connecting your hard drive so it doesn't start backing up before you actually get all your options uh, set up. So let's select options here. This screen is where you exclude items from being backed up. If there's anything on the computer system that you don't want to back up, this is where you can add it to the list of things not to back up. You just hit the plus and you can navigate through here to find the files or folders you don't want to back up and then you click exclude to add it to the list. Another thing here is notify after old backups are deleted. I keep that unchecked because I don't need it telling me that it's going to delete a very old 
set of backed up files, I just go ahead and let it uh, delete that without notifying me. But if you prefer to have that setting there, just give it a check. And on a laptop, if you're on one of the Mac laptops, there's also going to be another option down here to allow you or disallow doing time machine backups when the computer is running only on battery. All right, so you can click save and save those options. And now you're ready to connect your external hard drive. The external hard drive that I purchased, it's a Western Digital My Passport. Right here, it's pretty tiny, nice and compact. It's a USB 2 only, um, didn't really need anything faster than that. If you need faster backups, you can go, if you have a newer Mac, you can go USB 3 or you can use FireWire and there's also wireless hard drives you can get for the Mac. So I'm going to connect this hard drive here for the first time. All right, that should pop up on the desktop here in a second. All right, there it is. And you can see it recognized that hard drive. It's asking me if I want to use uh, the My Passport for backing up with Time Machine. And I want to rename that hard drive to something a little bit more appropriate. So I'm going to just click Decide Later right now. Going to rename this to something useful. So I'm going to do iMac Time Machine Backup. All right, rename that. So that's a little bit more appropriate so I know what the heck it is. Now I'm going to go back into Time Machine Preferences and select the backup disk. And there's the iMac Time Machine Backup. And you have an option to encrypt your backups. I'm not going to choose that because I don't care if it's encrypted. And use disk. So it automatically turns on Time Machine. So if you need to make any more changes, you can turn Time Machine off and it'll just sit there. So if you need to go back into options, go through here, change any files you need to exclude or whatnot, you can do that. And turn Time Machine on. And you can see here it's next backup is, boy, that's in like 10 minutes. Previously when I selected it, it was counting down two minutes. So I'd like it to start backing up right now. So what I'm going to do is go up to my little icon in the menu bar and click back up now. And this is what you're going to see while it's starting a backup. The first time you go to back up, it's going to back up everything on your hard drive. For me, that's 200 gig of data. That's going to take a long time. It's going to take at least, I would think, a couple of hours, especially on a slower USB 2 connection. All right, it's been about eh, 20, 25 minutes. And you can see over here, things have kind of settled into place. And it's now saying it has about three hours to go. To. All right, and it's done backing up. I wasn't able to record it because it happened a little faster than I expected. It took about two and a half hours to back up the 216 gig of data I have on my hard drive. Now, one thing you want to make sure to do if you're going to disconnect your external hard drive from your computer, you want to make sure you eject that external hard drive properly. There are several different ways you can do that. You can click on it, highlight the icon on the desktop, and then you can also right click and go to eject the hard drive here. Or you can also go up to finder, file, and then you can also eject right here. And another way to do that is you can take the hard drive icon, click and drag it down to the trash bin and you notice that the trash icon turns into an eject symbol just hold it right over it 
and let go and that'll eject the hard drive and it kind of goes a little faded color there and you just want to make sure that you wait until that icon disappears to actually pull the cable from your computer. Now you can leave your external hard drive connected and Time Machine turned on and it will automatically back up your computer about every hour or so and it only backs up files that have changed after you've made the initial backup. So then it doesn't take as long of a period of time to do those smaller backups. All right, this is Geek Out Tech. That's how you set up Time Machine. Thanks for watching.